from the heart, June 22nd, will a man rob God? Malachi 3 verse 8 says, but you say in what way have we robbed you in tithes and offerings? Would you do it? The Bible speaks of this as if it were an impossibility that anyone should venture to do such a thing, yet you have robbed me. The Lord saw just how it would be when the world was filled with inhabitants and therefore he makes a covenant with his people that they should give him their tithes and offerings according to the arrangement which he has made this is his he does not belong it does not belong to any of you god has made this arrangement with you that you may show that you realize your dependence and accountability to god by returning to him his portion if you do this his blessing will come upon you all that we have is the Lord's entrusted to us as his stewards. That which we hand back to him, he must first give to us. We breathe because God takes charge of the human machinery. He don't charge us for oxygen, right? Day by day, he keeps it in working order. And he wants us to think of the infinite sacrifice he has made for us in suffering with one equal with himself, his only begotten son. He consented to let him come to a world all seared and marred with the curse of sin to stand at the head of humanity as a sin-bearing, sin-pardoning Savior. Christ declared that all power in heaven and earth has been given to him. He takes his position at the head of humanity, covering humanity with divinity. God forbid that any one of us should fail of gaining the precious boon of eternal life. Do not rob God. Walk honestly before him. All is his. He has entrusted goods to his agents for the advancement of his work in the world. They are to bring to his treasury a faithful tithe. And besides this, they are to bring gifts and offerings as the cause shall demand. God desires us to realize that heaven has been brought near to earth. 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands of angels minister to those who shall be heirs of salvation. God is in earnest with us. He expects us to help in planting his standard in places which have never heard the truth. From all over the world, calls for help are coming. Lay out no money unnecessarily. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow the master. You can never give him as much as he has given you. He gave his life for you. What have you given for him? Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.